I was asked if I had a DIY hack for uh, shower mold. And the answer is yes. Uh, first of all, let me start off by saying whatever product you use on uh, mold in the, the shower, you want the shower to be dry first off. Uh, I was surprised to find out that there's a lot of people that don't know that. And the reason why is because where you find mold mostly. Let's see if I can find some for you. You see that right there, that's mold. Uh, you mostly find it on grout and you want the grout to be dry so that what you're using can soak in and uh, do its job. Most of the products that you'll buy from the store to deal with mold in the shower, uh, the active ingredient is really just bleach. It may be disguised as sodium hypochlorite, but that's the uh, that's actually bleach. But a lot of people are also surprised to find out that bleach does not actually kill mold. It just changes the color. It bleaches it out mostly, but it does give you that immediate gratification. And you can see the mold disappear, and then uh, obviously it'll come back, and you'll use more product, and you'll buy more product. And my concoction, and you can obviously do this in just a little spray bottle. Uh, I, I just prefer this. This is a two gallon standard issue garden sprayer. Um, it's uh, one, one gallon of just distilled white vinegar and the other half is water. And then the blue color, I've just squirted some Dawn dishwashing liquid in there. Just enough so you can give it see some color. There's no magic amount. What, what the, the dish soap does is it actually kind of suspends the vinegar so that it doesn't run off as much and gives it time to sit on what it's working on and, and uh, soak in deeply. And before I spray this on, and with, with this sprayer, you can really cover some ground and you can just spray it and walk away. The only thing to keep in mind is that while vinegar actually kills mold right down to the roots, you don't have the immediate gratification of the, the bleach because uh, it does take a day or so for the, the black color to go away. And it's the good time to mention right now, because I know some, some of you may be thinking, why not get the best of both worlds and mix uh, bleach with the vinegar. You never want to mix the two because what you create is what's called chlorine gas and it's very dangerous. Uh, so you don't want to do that. Uh, but in, in any event, let's go ahead and identify before I spray some moldy spots. It's going to be hard to see. I guess, yeah, you can see that. Okay, that's mold. Uh, I got some mold here. There's some. And this is on the left side of the shower, just as a reference when, for when we walk in later to check. Uh, and then as far as the tile, oh, let's see up here. This is just under the shower head to the right. There's a little bit of mold there and a little bit there. And let's see, to the left side of the shower head, there's some there, there, there. And let's go over here. Can we find any? This is just above the controller. Oh, yeah, there's some there and there. And I see some there as well. Yeah, that's a good bit, good bit of mold. But I'm going to go ahead and soak it. And uh, then we'll come back. And the ideal thing to be patient and give it a day or so. And if you can use another shower in your home, just to give it that extra time, that's great. Um, and if not, and you have to shower later, you may want to reapply it uh, after the shower has dried out and uh, let it do, let it do its thing. But I'm going to go ahead and and douse the whole thing really good. I'm not going to waste your time with that. But again, with the sprayer, you can really cover some ground. It'll take me probably two minutes, and and I'll be done with that. And that was about exactly right. Two minutes and I've got everything soaked really, really well. Now let's give it time to do its thing. 
Okay, it's been a couple of days. Unfortunately, the shower did get used once. Uh, so I may wind up uh, just spritzing it down again after we're done here. But just let's take a look. And uh, try to see how well you can tell on camera. It's, you can still see it, but it's starting to fade. And again, keep in mind, uh, you don't get the immediate gratification with this like you do with bleach, but bleach is not, it does not kill it. It just bleaches the color. What this does is it, it works and kills it right down to the roots. You can think of mold kind of like a tree. The black, the black part you see is the top of the tree. But what we're after is, I want to get right down into the roots. Uh, we can still see there but it's fading you can still see that but it's fading let's look over here you can still see there but it's faded and yeah this we can really tell um again it did get used the shower did um but uh, I may spritz it down again. If you get into the habit, and you may want to get a uh, just one of these spray bottles. You can get them at your local home improvement store or and or a garden sprayer. But if you get mold in particular areas, if you get in the habit of just spraying it down every maybe once every few weeks to a month, you'll find that the, the mold will, you'll no longer get the mold. Also on the glass where you get uh, like mineral deposits, uh, if you spray that on there, you can use a, let it sit for a few minutes and use a, one of these sponges that's got a double sided, you know, a rough side and you can, you know, spray it on there, let it do its thing, and then come back and rough it up with the sponge. That'll take it off. Or you can just spray it and leave it. And then over time, you'll start not getting those mineral deposits collecting. But anyway, a good thing to know. I don't know if it'll help anybody, but uh, I'll put links to the little sprayer and the garden sprayer down below in case you can't uh, get them easily where you're at. But uh, good thing to know. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.